Welcome to video demonstration for advanced menu manager plugin. In this video we will be showing you different key features of the plugin. This menu manager plugin we have developed a new interface to add menu item in your menu. The default WordPress interface to add new menu item works very well when you have a moderate size of a uh, menu items in your page. But let us imagine you have a hundreds of menu items that you want to create for your menu. At that time the default interface becomes a little bit difficult. Let us go with the features one by one. Imagine that you want to create a menu item under our team. In that case you can use the plus signs out there. That means the, the next menu item will be created immediate after the current menu item. Clicking on the plus sign will present a pop-up that you can utilize. Let us assume we want to add the case study page as item. So I will check the box. I will add the menu item. The menu item will be added up here. Let us go back again. On the add menu, add menu item dialog box, you can utilize various features. Like we are, we are displaying the page ID, we are displaying the page slug, the author, the template and the publish date. So that you can make right decision by picking up the right page. We also highlight the menu items which are already there in the menu. So the orange highlight means those items are already there in the menu. You can hide existing menu items if you want to by clicking this. You can also filter the menu, menu pages created by a particular author. Let us imagine we want to create, we want to see the pages which are created by other admin. You just filter it out and that will be listed then you can pick the page and you can add it as a menu you can also filter the pages by a particular search term if you want to filter the pages also you can utilize the show items per page option here so let us say if you want to list 100 items per page then you can utilize this box. You can also let us imagine you want to add all the pages in the menu. You can do that by select all and add add to menu item that will allow you to bulk add in, in your menu. The last important feature here is there might be situations where you want to you know add a page in the menu item which is not created in that case you have to you have to go to the pages section add new page come back to the menu and then add the page so to re reduce that effort you know we have developed a feature here add new page so right from the menu screen you can create a new page from menu you can assign the author slug and let us say sample content add new page the page will be added at the top you can pick the page item and add to menu the page will be menu item will be visible here and you can save the menu let us try to save the menu and go to the front side so you can see the menu is created from here our team page and case study page we created so that was the menu add menu menu feature
WordPress has a very interesting feature of uh, tracking revision histories for the changes that you make, make in uh, pages and posts. But that feature is not available for menus. That means whatever changes you make in your menu, that uh, doesn't get tracked. We have in Advanced Menu Manager plugin, we have developed this feature so the all the menu changes all the menu changes will be tracked as a revisions so after installing the plugin the menu revisions will be automatically enabled so whatever changes you make so each save button click will be recorded as a different revision so in in this in this demo this it has a you know seven revisions uh, stored so let us uh, make a uh, one change here i will change the changes i added a fq button here save So that will create a, a revision here. Clicking on the revision, you know you can you can see the difference with the with the selected revision and comparing to the current version of the menu. So this shows in, in the current menu I created FAQ and this is the previous version. Okay. So it has a shift in all the elements from here. You can utilize the menu revisions functionality to restore the previous version. You know, there might let us say by mistake you you changed something in your menu item. And you don't you want to restore back to the original version that you can do here. So let us have a let us try to to make the original menu with the let us try to restore the first version of the menu. I will restore to the first version. Okay. So the menu is restored back to the first version. Uh, let me let us have a look at the front end side. So the menu is restored back to the original one. Let us restore it back to the version we had. Zero nine with the FAQ button, yeah. You can see the menu is restored back to what what it was on the ninth version. Yeah, so all the changes that you make in the menu and and you when you save it, it will create a revision. You you can disable the menu revision for a particular menu by clicking this menu item. So let us say I want I I don't want to track menu revisions for this menu. I will click on the disable revision and uh, it will it will disable the revisions for this man. You can also utilize the flush revision button. So uh, let us say you know there are a lot of uh, revisions has been created and you want to delete all of them. You can click on the flush revision button. You can enable the menu revisions by clicking in the checkbox once again.
so that was the menu revisions functionality thank you menu shortcut feature becomes a handy tool when you want to add your entire menu a specific menu as a as a page content or an a page or post content anywhere in your website let us say you can utilize this feature to create a quick sitemap for your users as well to do this you just have to copy the menu shortcut which is available there so in this example let us say i'm i'm doing this i'm copying this short code you can pass different arguments if you want to style it with a different style so you can assign the classes and everything using this using this parameters so let us imagine that i want to add the menu in my contact us page so i will go to the contact us page and the entire menu will be visible up here this way yeah so that is the menu shortcut functionality navigation menus are very important part of any website there might be situations where you don't want other authors or other administrators of your website to be able to edit the important menu so let us say you want to prevent other admins or other authors so that they cannot change the main menu but they will be able to change other menus in your website in that case you know you can lock a particular menu and you can decide who users along with yourself will be able to edit this menu and for rest of the other users the menu will be locked to achieve this you can utilize the menu lock functionality of advanced menu manager plugin by default the menu lock functionality is disabled for all the menu to enable it you have to go to the specific menu and you have to click on the menu lock enable switch enabling these will enable the menu lock for all the users let us say if you want to allow a specific user to be able to edit along with yourself then you can select a particular user in this example i have another user as admin but i am not allowing him to edit this menu so let us see you know how it works for him so i have saved the changes i'm logging out from the master admin user I'm logging in as admin user let us go to the appearance section and the lock will be visible here this means the other user will not be able to edit this menu he can always you know create another menus and uh, change them but he will not be able to edit the particular menu which is here so that is the functionality of menu lock the quick page edit tool will be a very handy feature you know when you want to change the content of original page right from the menu management screen to use this you can hover over the particular menu item and the edit option will be available from there so let us say we want to change the content of about us you click on the edit item 
that will present the dialog box with the editor you can edit few of the basic features like about us you can change the title you can change the author you can change the content change from manager update the page the page content is saved you do not need to save the menu if you just have changed the content you can go to the front website let us see about us and there you can see the change has been happened yeah so this way you can utilize the quick page edit functionality for even the page or even for the custom post types also yeah in advanced menu manager plugin you will find the key hacks you know small tweaks and tricks that you can utilize you know to improve your productivity at the time of managing the menu for example you can utilize this expand and collapse tips clicks to expand child menus and all and expand and collapse the tree you can always utilize the id you know sometimes for developers or designer front end designers you know it is important to know the menu ids so that they can style them individually at that time they can utilize this id this tag shows you know the type of the current menu item whether it is a page whether it is a post type custom post type or a custom link next we have the down arrow key this allows you to see the attributes you know if you want to change specific attributes then you can you can expand this by clicking here you can utilize this uh, quick uh, buttons here to go at the top let us say to go at the revisions to go at the menu structure and to at the go at the lock functionality yeah so this were the few key small small key features that can help you to enhance your productivity thank you thanks for watching the demo